How to farm ritual. To preface this video, this isn't the most optimal way to farm for maximum currency per hour, but it is the way that I personally enjoy farming ritual the most. So after a few days of farming essences, I have just about had it with spending 3 to 5 minutes killing overtuned T16 essence monsters that aren't really worth killing. And since I was able to make quite a decent amount of currency from selling my delirium orbs, as well as eater invitations, I figured that maybe buying essences from other players wasn't such a bad idea. The reason I needed these essences farmed up in the first place was because I needed a strong supply of essences in order to craft some of the starting gear for my next build. But enough about essences, in this video I wanted to talk about one of my favorite mechanics to farm, Ritual. If you don't know, I was definitely among one of the many Ultimatum mechanic enjoyers back in Ultimatum League, and Ritual offers a rather similar reward system that involves a circular monster arena that spits out rewards at the end of the encounter. Obviously Ritual is nowhere near as fun to interact with as Ultimatum, but my smooth caveman brain personally has a soft spot for mechanics that are circular in nature. Now if you've seen some of my previous videos, you've probably picked up on the fact that I really enjoy farming delirium. And what better way to improve the returns of delirium farming than to add ritual on top of it. The reason that I enjoy farming ritual alongside delirium is because when interacting with the ritual mechanic, the delirium timer that has been activated is paused for the duration of the encounter. Not only that, but ritual also spawns increasingly more monsters to kill under the delirium fog for the purpose of increasing delirium drops. As you can see, there's nothing quite like the synergy between delirium and a circular mechanic that freezes the delirium timer while simultaneously producing more rewards from the overall encounter. Furthermore, once you've completed all of the ritual encounters, you can go shopping for any valuable fragments, divination cards, gear, or currencies in the ritual window while waiting for your delirium orbs to drop. It is the perfect cycle for backloading all of your rewards for the end of the map. Personally, one of my least favorite interactions in Path of Exile, especially if I decide to deploy a high investment farming strategy, is needing to stop in order to pick up items that have dropped along the way. This is even more prevalent for me due to the fact that I play a build with a very delayed damage profile. Since explosive arrow ballistas already have such a long delay before they deal damage, the mapping experience for this build usually involves placing down a totem and running ahead to keep up the pace of clearing the map. The downside of this is that if there are any valuable drops that occur, I typically need to backtrack roughly the distance of an entire screen in order to come back and pick up the items. The nice thing about both Ritual and Delirium in particular is that these two mechanics involve reaping the rewards all at the end of your map instead of along the way. On top of a backloaded reward system, these mechanics also synergize quite effectively in improving the drops from each map. The only caveat to my personal atlas setup for this strategy is that I like to run Wandering Path. The advantages of this keystone in addition to running Delirium are just far too good for me to pass up and so I'm willing to incur a bit of a loss in terms of not being able to pick up some of the ritual notables. I will, however, mention that I like to run this strategy with arbitrary tenants. This ritual keystone allows any reward in the ritual window to randomly be priced between 90% less or 80% more than its original price. Typically when you farm ritual you'll notice that the more valuable and therefore more expensive items are usually situated in the top left of the window. Oftentimes you'll come to realize that any valuable rewards you find are too expensive to purchase and will need to be deferred. However, with this keystone, you'll be able to find more valuable or useful items at a discount that'll allow you to buy them outright instead of needing to defer the reward. So the way that I like to farm ritual with this keystone is to just quickly skim through any items that are highlighted through my filter and simply grab whatever is affordable with my current favor, allowing me to fully utilize the favor from every map. Obviously, if there's ever a case where something super valuable appears, I'll of course be deferring those rewards in the event that I'm unable to purchase purchase them. With my current atlas setup, since I do have Wandering Path doubling the effects of all the ritual passives too, I have a 70% chance to encounter rituals, 100% increased chance of encountering rituals with special rewards, 32% increased spawn rate of ritual monsters, and 80% increased number of monsters spawned at once. 
Overall, this strategy is quite an enjoyable rendition of the typical zero investment delirium farming, just simply due to the fact that Ritual does significantly reduce the time pressure from farming delirium mirrors. So that's all for this video. If you want to support my content, be sure to check out my second channel where I'll address any thoughts, questions, or comments that you guys may have in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope to see you all next time.